Hey guys, I'm going to try and walk through installing uh, the Star Wars Empire at War remake on Steam. The modder has instructions out there to get it to work for GOG, so I'm hopefully going to alleviate that and help Steam users out uh, with this tutorial. So first things first, you want to go out to the website and make sure you have the actual uh, mod downloaded um, on the mod page just go to files and you're gonna go to the Empire at War the beta 4 is the latest one and just download it um, make sure you know where it's downloaded uh, the other thing that you're actually gonna want to need or use is also on listed on kind of the home page for the mod for the some of the crashes that are happening um, and then also for the 4 gig patch, which actually is working for me from what he has in the beta files. Um, but really what you want to do is for the memory crashes, kind of just to take care of that, just kind of to make sure that that does not happen as well. Um, you're going to want to go to this link here for this uh, patch that was from a while ago on Gamefront's website. So you're going to go to this site um, and download this as well and really we're only after kind of one file in this download uh, but again they they both are in zip files um, so uh, we'll get to that and what you need to do but so yeah those are the two things you want to download is the actual patch or the patch here from Gamefront and then the actual uh, mod files from the site once you have that um, what I did is just kind of made a folder specifically for it so you can see here I've got the actual remake mod zip and then also this is that's the the patch that was on Gamefront's website so I got them both here so what you're gonna do um, just right off the bat is just extract them so that they're in their own folders here so um, I use WinRAR um, and really it's just you can google it and find their website and download it and just makes it so that you can unpack compressed files um, so really you can just right click extract files for both of them um, and then you, they'll be their own separate folders in here so for now I'm gonna kinda leave that there um, you're next gonna wanna find where they're actually installed the the Star Wars Empire at War folders are in Steam um, so for me I have Steam installed on my C drive so it is going to be under program files x86 and then it's going to be the Steam folder and then Steam apps and then common and then it's going to list your games that you have and so here's Star Wars Empire at War and now the mods go in the forces of corruption folder so you can see here Steam has a folder specifically for the corruption expansion so you're going to go into here, and here you see you've got the actual executable file that launches the game, and then all the other kind of miscellaneous files that are the heart of the game. So in here, uh, you're going to want to create a new folder, um, and you're just going to actually you want to make sure and name it mods. And do it like that, and then you're going to actually take the uh, where the mod is, go back to where you've got that folder and I I think to get it really to work you want to make sure you go in one to this folder and you're actually going to um, you can either cut it or you, uh, I tend to copy because I kind of want to keep this these where they are in case you know uh, screw ups, mess ups just so you've got you can start over if you need to um, so I go into here go into this is the folder that you want so I just copy this exactly and then you're going to paste it right into the mods folder um, and like I said you kind of I kind of wanted to have the backups just in case you know you ever mess up on the steps so um, I probably just a copy just to be safe so once the copy's over uh, you can see that it's Again, we're program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Star Wars Empire at War, corruption, 
you create the mods folder and then you just copy the actual mod that you downloaded and just put it right in that mods folder. Um, now from here um, we want to apply the 4 gig patch. So you're gonna write in the, the corruption folder, go into mods, go into the remake folder, and you're gonna do the same thing and extract this 4 gigabyte patch. Just You can just do it right here. You hit OK and it creates its own folder. So the actual patch, uh, what we're gonna do is apply it to the executable of the the other file that we downloaded from Gamefront. So essentially what we're gonna do, I'm gonna back up here, is we're gonna take almost a duplicate of this exe and we're gonna patch it. So go to the patch, launch it, hit yes, and it's gonna ask you for where to find um, the shortcut for the exe. So remember how we have all those folders kind of together. So this is gonna be in here in this Star Wars Empire War Forces of Corruption and we're going to uh, target the one that's in there. So I've already done this before so it's already it's already found it for me but you like I said you're gonna have to find that folder where you've got all of your stuff. So for me it was on my desktop remake mod and this folder and it's gonna be this one. So we're gonna apply the four gigabyte patch just to this file um, from what we downloaded from Gamefront. So you're gonna select it, hit open, says it's ex the executable successfully patched, hit OK. So back in our folder for the mod, I'm just gonna back up again. So again, just because I kinda wanna be safe and if I screw up I can always go back, what I do is I just kind of uh, use dot old to just kind of distinguish it that this is the old one, rename it, and then I'm gonna reopen this. We are going to go into the folder here and you can tell that the 4, gig, 4 gigabyte patch worked because it actually creates a backup of the executable that you targeted. So again I'm just going to copy it and we're gonna, just going to put it right into the folder for the forces of corruption. So we've got the a new executable from uh, the game front files from a patch from a while ago to hopefully fix any memory crashes. Uh, we've applied the 4 gigabyte patch directly to that executable and we've copied it into the Forces of Corruption um, folder where everything is. So what you're going to do now is essentially we're just going to create a shortcut. So for Steam um, I believe you actually, it's pretty much like the GOG version, you're not going to launch it from Steam, you're going to launch it from the shortcut. Um, and really just to make things simple, you just right click create a shortcut. And then from the shortcut you're going to go to properties. And in here it's already got the target path um, where it's located. Um, I know there's some stuff you kind of have to in the GOG version um, from the instructions you kind of had to go and make sure these are all pointing to where they need to be but if you just right click create the shortcut they, they're pointing exactly where they need to be so the only thing you need to modify is in the target uh, where the mod uh, target is going to be so at the very end here in target just kind of space over it's going to be mod path equals I'm just going to look this up just to make sure I've got this correct. And I believe it's just, this is what I'm after here. So it's it's right here on the, I just, there's, a, there's a lot of places where it's listed, but it's right here in the front page. You just need to copy this. So in here, the end of the target, you're just basically telling it where to find the mod folder. Um, and that's all you need to do. Hit apply. OK. And
end you can essentially you should be able to launch it from here now if you have just installed uh, and downloaded it from Steam and never have never opened it or launched the game you're gonna want to launch it from Steam f at least one time first before doing this because there actually is some things that it finishes installing uh, via the Steam launch so once that's done um, then you can come back here and actually launch the shortcut so now they've got everything good you should just be able to launch the shortcut and it should this is exactly what you should see right here uh, to signify that the mod has actually been installed correctly we'll see here for sure once it loads up and there we go so this is uh, working correctly. You can see the new models, the, the new intro. It's very well done. Um, if you guys have questions, uh, hopefully this is pretty straightforward. I know sometimes there's some steps in there that are can kind of get lost, but hopefully it helped you out. Um, I'll try and provide links also in the description so you can get the files that you actually need and make it a little bit more easier. Uh, but thanks for watching.